All right, I'm at it again. Um, this one's a Korg MS20 filter. I think it's uh, got a switch for low pass and high pass on it. Um, we're over on dirt box layouts again. And we've got this very layout. Um, Want to use this with my um, with my drones? So and I'm going to do another etched um, case, nice deep etched case. Uh, I'm going to put a Korg logo on it. I'm going to have the audacity to shock a Korg logo on it. Um, I get myself a nice chrome Korg MS20. Okay, let's see how this goes. Got my resistors in, a couple of capacitors. I'm now going to put in the uh, there's two red LED diodes in here. Um, a bit like clipping, I guess. Um, I've got three mil LEDs for this one. I'm just going to use a tip just to get them in a multimeter before you uh, before you chuck them in your circuit. Make sure they work. And if you put them in a multimeter, select diode on your function and stick them in. I've got this little thing here and they'll light up just make sure they both light up because if they don't they might be dud because a lot of these little crappy leds can be duds sometimes you can see that one's lighting up so i know they're good to go so i'm going to stick them in my circuit but yeah it's just a tip use a multimeter to uh, check your diodes all right so there we have the finished korg ms20 style circuit i've got the lm one three seven hundred in there and the other components i'm just about to wire this up i've got a uh, a switch double pole double throw switch in there which will switch it between high and low pass um resonance and frequency like resonance and cutoff and i'm not going to have a volume switch on or a volume knob on it i'm just going to go straight to the output um so i'm just going to have two knobs on this so when I box it up, it's going to be a box of two knobs. A bit like my other filter that I've got. Um, yeah, I'm going to get wiring this up now. All right, so we're all wired up now to me uh, MS20 resonance and cutoff. I've got it attached to a quantum defraculator four-step uh, drone sequencer, which is then going into uh, a 4x12 and a uh, orange micro dark. All right, so I'm just going to turn on the drone first. Uh, I don't have an on-off switch, so it's just it is. And then I'll just uh, start plugging away with some sounds on the uh, Korg MS20. When I hit this, that means I'm turning that on.
Okay, when I switch the switch, I don't know what's going on with the other side, so it's just giving me off this no noise. So I can only imagine that, that ain't working. But the other side's working. So I might omit the switch when I box it up and just put this import straight into the board and not have a switch because it doesn't seem to be working too well. But the other side of it's working fine. S20 um, filter. Yeah, don't know what's happening with the switch. Um, I have to look at that again, make sure I've just got it wired up the way it should be. Um, it's supposed to be a high pass and a low pass, so it's supposed to do the same thing on the other side, but let's just see. I can work that out. Then I'm going to move on to just etching my box and making that look nice and sticking this in it. All right, cheers. <laughs> 